everybody. My name is Bex, BX. In this week's video, I'm coming to you kind of crooked, actually. Hold on. There's so much going on right now, guys, okay? I'm just here to tell you I didn't even, I'm not even my normal setup space. I didn't put any makeup on for this. My, I am down to two nails. My fingernails look disgusting. I look disgusting. I'm not even wearing like an acute appropriate outfit for this video. I am really in a different space than I was in my last video. That being said, what this week's video is gonna be, I'm gonna do something a little different that I haven't really done before on my channel, and that is filming a mukbang. I've always wanted to do one of these, and I recently just got some Ethiopian food. Oh, all this food's just falling. And I'm just gonna have some gorgeous while I talk to you guys. Hopefully it's not disgusting, because I hate hearing people chew. <laughs> So if you have a problem with hearing people chew, maybe just turn the volume down a little bit. I don't even ch I don't chew with my mouth open though, so there's that, right? At least there's one thing. So I didn't even think of really anything as to how I'm going to kind of go about. I didn't ask anyone to like send me their questions. I didn't really do try and do like a Q and A with this, and I didn't really write up a script. Um, this video is really just my like thoughts currently being officially a month in. A little over a month. Mango juice, y'all. The best. Takes me back to my childhood every time. How am I feeling? Good question. It's just been such an up and down. When I first got to school, I was like, okay, didn't really know what to expect. And I think I was just riding on the high of the first week of school. So my attention span was completely there. My fatigue, had no, no fatigue had set in yet. I wasn't feeling anything really because it was mere excitement so I was able to you know be super attentive and just get my work done that was not always the case that start to that attentiveness started to fluctuate over time what else started to fluctuate um my sort of like enthusiasm started to fluctuate because there would just be some weeks where I was just not in the mood and most of it was because I was tired so yeah the stuff that we're learning is like dry maybe you know the, the law can't be but so exciting but to me it's actually quite interesting the things that I've been learning are actually quite interesting so when it when I'm really not like enthused about it like if I'm ever having a week or a day where I'm just not in the mood that's when I really know like okay either you know, I'm just super stressed out or I'm just really, really tired. And so I'm not able to be in such a bright, cheery mood to study or to go to class and to learn like I would normally be. So I wanna be honest with you guys in saying that I am tired. I'm very, very tired. Sometimes I get afraid about vocalizing that because I don't, you know, I do believe that to some extent it is a mindset and if you constantly keep reinforcing that to yourself, you know, I mean that's like with anything. Anything that you have constantly reinforced to yourself, whether by other people or by yourself, it will like manifest itself into your physical body and you will believe you're tired, you will constantly be thinking you're tired. Well, you're constantly thinking you're tired, then you believe you're tired and then you start to feel fatigued, maybe even after you've had you know, you say you got 11 hours of sleep last night and you're like, oh my god, I'm tired, still so tired, 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 tired. So, I don't want it to become an issue simply because I'm saying it's an issue. If it's truly that I'm tired and I haven't gotten, I've really only gotten you know, an average of five hours of sleep a night this week, then I do believe that I'm warranted in saying that I'm tired. But if I've been getting eight hours of sleep and I'm just kind of not in the mood for school that week, but I'm just saying I'm tired, that I don't necessarily think, I don't want to keep feeding into that. I don't want to reinforce myself into believing that I, I'm always tired, like I'm just always tired. I really have been only getting about five to six hours of sleep on average a night, and it's been taking a toll on me. And I would really say that that's been one of the biggest things with this adjustment to school. Given the fact that we were in quarantine before we went to school, I 
wasn't really on a schedule and I could get as much sleep as I wanted or I could get as little sleep as I wanted. It was up to me. And for the most part, I was getting around eight, nine, ten hours of sleep some days. I've been struggling to get up at 6.30 partially because I'm just tired because I'm going to bed later than I would normally be trying to go to bed or would at least no than I would have wished to go to bed or because I'm just dreading the work like I don't want to get up and have to do more reading I want to get up and drink coffee I want to get up and maybe drink coffee and watch some TV but I don't want to get up and do more reading and so that's been kind of the issue that I've had lately where um, I've actually had so much homework this past like week and a half a little bit more than I would normally have um, like a professor just kind of like tacking on extra readings after class I don't like that I was just like you didn't say that before. So that part's been really, really irritating. Um, I've been having to make use of like every little time that I have, like waking up early in the morning to get a little bit of more reading done, getting reading done during the time that I would normally just be chilling in between classes, you know, reading on the weekends, whatever. Normal thing, I think that's just gonna be kind of like the normal thing of, of law school. You know, I can't tell these professors that they're not allowed to add extra readings onto their <laughs> syllabus. Like, they're allowed, very much so allowed to do that. It's just irritating. <laughs> That's literally it. Part of what this past, you know, week and a half has kind of been is just figuring out, okay, how do I stay as efficient as possible, but stay as prepared as possible for class? So it's really just trying to be, you know, like an effective reader, trying to, trying to read so that I am comprehending, but not wasting time. Um, and then also taking notes so that I am reinforcing what I'm learning, but also again not wasting time studying so that I am, um, you know, memorizing things that I'm checking my comprehension and evaluating whether or not I understand a concept, but then also making sure again that I'm not wasting time. So all of it is really just like doing what I need to do, but then doing it in a timely manner, in a manner that's going to allow me to do that for five classes at once. And so that's what's like frustrates me the most or that's what's been like I guess maybe stressing me out the most is this idea that I'm trying to do that for five classes at the same time and lest we forget that I have final exams all before Thanksgiving so it's uh, September 23rd now I think and I have final exams in less than two months. I also have a, um, a memorandum due for my writing class, my last memorandum due in a month. Well, the first draft is due in a month and then the final is due maybe like two weeks after that. So that's really what I mean by like this idea that all these things feel like they're just compounding on one another and that I don't have enough time to truly figure out what's going to be the best method for um, studying what's going to be the best method for reading, for taking notes, writing my memo. I joined a few societies. Um, some of them are very like I joined with the knowledge that they were going to be very uh, manageable and that they aren't going to be very time consuming, especially as a 1L um, without any leadership positions. And then I also did, ran for a leadership position in another society in the Sport and Entertainment Law Society. So I wanted to get a, just a little taste, just a little taste at a leadership position. I wanted to just show initiative, um, whether or not that role is gonna be like all encompassing or whether or not I'm really gonna be doing a lot in that role. I just wanted to show, at least on my resume, and just to myself in general, just that I have the initiative that I still have this ambition to do well and also be involved and, you know, in the community and in my class. But what I do need to make sure that I'm aware of and I hope that I don't lose sight of is the fact that grades are still the most important thing and at the end of the day you know an employer is not going to care what society I was in or whether or not I was the 1L rep for that society if my grades are boo-boo. I'm also just realizing that this video is really like showing just how much I can put down in terms of food and that's really been another thing. I've been eating so much during <clears throat> the past couple of weeks. And I think because when I'm tired, I like need more energy. Or at least this is what I was told one time. 
when you're fatigued, you just need more energy. So it's like your body's just constantly craving like food or caffeine. So I'm just like, it's just one or the other. Either I have an iced coffee in my hand and I'm like cracked out or I'm just eating a whole bag of chips to the face. Depends on the day. I will say this hybrid learning, at first I was like bummed out about it because I felt like how are we really gonna get the full effect of our 1L, you know, our 1L year. And granted, we don't know what the spring is gonna look like, so we really could potentially only be missing out on a genuine 1L fall. But I was like, you know, is this gonna kind of take away from what I would like just my my the potential to you know get jobs or for the for next summer or just to network with people or to even just meet people in your class um, there we're missing out 100% on the so like I wouldn't say 100% since we're in a digital age but we're missing out a lot I would say on the networking opportunities in terms of being able to have that face-to-face -face connection I still get to meet some of my professors there's about um, two professors that I don't get to meet in person but the rest I do so really all in all, it hasn't been like just a total like complete 180 from what a normal 1L semester would look like, but I was kind of bummed out at first because I was like, it's still different. It's still not going to be everything that, you know, uh, 1Ls normally get to do. However, um, as time has kind of been going on and you just kind of forget about all that fun stuff and try and focus really hard on getting good grades, you realize that like, being at home kind of saves you some time and I never I didn't realize this until I truly realized the value of my time this past month has really taught me the value of like what an extra 30 minutes can do for you the fact that you know on some days for example on like Fridays I have a 9 a.m. and if I wanted to wake up at um, 6 30 so that I could try and do some work from 7 to 9 that saves me time versus if I had to be on campus at nine, I would have had to, I would be, I would need to leave at 8.30, which means that I would really only have from like seven to eight to do stuff. So literally just in the fact that I don't have to leave my house, I have two full hours to do stuff versus just an hour. I will say, I wouldn't have thought about this before because I really would have been like, what's an extra 30 minutes, right? An extra 30 minutes is a lot. I really don't want to make this video super long, so I'm not going to say too, too much because, again, this is really just like my first, like just my initial reaction, my first real reflection on how the semester, how like the semester is going. Um, you know, the direction I kind of see it being, like the, the direction I kind of see it going in and um, just kind of being real and honest with you guys about like the, the state that I'm in currently, like just not having time to film on the days that I would normally film. Um, so I've been simultaneously thinking about that. Maybe I kind of, you know, set myself up a little bit by saying that I would stick to, <clears throat> by saying that I would stick to a posting schedule. I'm not sure, but I'm a very big believer of like saying things out loud and having that, you know, just to hold myself accountable because um, I do care about my channel and I do care about my viewers and giving them the, just giving you guys the full, you know, 100% of everything that's been going on, of my feelings, of, just how I'm trying to figure this out by myself, like living by myself, like I told you guys in my last video of when I was giving you the apartment tour, just trying to figure out how to keep my utilities down. Um, I don't, I really don't want to stress about money while I'm, while I'm here and trying to, you know, do well in school and stuff. I don't want to stress about money. That aside, um, school again, at the end of the day is still my biggest priority. So as much as I want to put YouTube ahead of it, YouTube is not paying me. And until you, until YouTube is cutting me some checks, I don't, I do not feel justified in prioritizing it over my studying. And that's just the real on that. What I'm saying is there, 
I can't I can't lie to you and say oh yeah I'll definitely prioritize YouTube over my school like it just doesn't make sense and if I did you can unfollow this channel you can unsubscribe you shouldn't even be taking advice from me if that's the case <laughs> that being said guys I really hope that this rant wasn't completely pointless I am full and happy and I'm gonna be I'm gonna shower and maybe get a little bit more reading done before I go to bed and I will see you guys next week as always like comment if you think I should do a video kind of talking about how you know being in athletics being a student athlete in undergrad uh, helped or didn't help me in preparing for law school and just being in law school and this experience in general and please subscribe to my channel if you enjoying these if you are enjoying these videos and if you want to watch more videos about my experience adulting trying to just take life one day at a time we're just trying to get through it over here and we're going to because we are going to make goals that make sense that are practical and that are for us thank you guys so much for watching if you really made it all the way to the end you're a real one and i love you and i respect you and i appreciate you you're special to me love you See you next week's video.